a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu news paper for 29th june on the front page you have president's rule for six more months in jammu and kashmir so elections will be held in jammu and kashmir by the end of year 2019 and the home minister amit shah has informed this to the lok sabha as well it's he says today one third of kashmir is not with us who announced ceasefire when pakistan encroached into kashmir after independence and occupied one third of its territory jawaharlal nehru announced ceasefire and pakistan to cover that part of kashmir so this is what home minister amit shah says this is president trump promises a very big trade deal with india so us president donald trump met prime minister narendra modi on the sidelines of g20 summit in osaka japan and discussion took place on terrorism the gulf crisis and other other aspects then below you have proposal on electric vehicles is well thought out so this is niti ayog vice chairman who refutes industry charges that plan is unrealistic so electric vehicles manufacturers or auto manufacturers in general had asked government to give more time for implementation of electric vehicles as such in the country because infrastructure also has to be in place so that was a concern raised but niti ayog says that the plan is not unrealistic as claimed by the industry and this is government cuts interest rates of savings schemes so central government has reduced the interest rates on small savings schemes including senior citizen savings schemes and the public provident fund schemes so these new rates will be applicable from 30th september 2019 and this is rupees 2 lakh a month spent on defunct projects so this is regarding a project this is ins wagli which is a submarine which was handed over by the central government to tamil nadu government in 2013 and it wanted to convert it it was under jayalalitha's uh, uh, chief ministership that uh, the government of tamil nadu wanted to convert this into a museum attracting tourism so the submarine museum as such was proposed but then it seemed it was unfeasible the submarine could not be mounted at the place where the museum was proposed to be set up so that is why tamil nadu has not been able to implement this project and still on this defunct project it spends 2 lakh a month because for demurrage of the submarine for the submarine to stay with them it has to continue to be serviced and it this is the cost which is incurred so tamil nadu government says we have informed the central government to take the submarine back so this is ins wagli a defunct submarine then on page 5 you have farmers to defy government ban on gm crops so farmers have sub, uh, are supporting cultivation of genetically modified crops and they want the government to allow gm crops so now to defy government ban they would so herbicide tolerant bt cotton crops in haryana's hissa district so herbicide tolerant crops bt cotton of course is a approved genetically modified crop it's rather the only genetically modified crop which can be grown in the country but herbicide tolerant crops are not allowed while bt cotton is herbicide tolerant so this is a very important point and it it should not be cultivated because herbicide tolerance means the crop is tolerant to herbicides herbicides uh, as such will affect the weeds they will eliminate the weeds but the crop will not be damaged so when this herbicide tolerant genes are inserted in a genetically modified crop what may happen is that this transfer of uh, genetic Uh, genetics can take place in the weeds in the adjoining uh, part of the crop so when in the same crop place the, the weeds are also present they may also acquire this herbicide tolerant characteristics so this happens no? jumping of genes or such things take place so when this happens what will happen is the weed will also acquire herbicide tolerant so when her weed becomes herbicide tolerant means it will become a super weed as it is called and it will not be eliminated with any herbicide then so that will become a huge challenge so that is why though gm crops are allowed herbicide tolerant crops are not allowed in the country but we are seeing here that farmers are saying that they would so herbicide herbicide tolerant bt cotton on page 8 you have telangana andhra pradesh to share water 
so the chief ministers of the two states have are now focusing on harnessing the godavari river to benefit both states and then you have stop medic make it to dam on river kaveri says aia dmk mp so this medic to dam make it to dam has also become a huge point of controversy it is karnataka government's plan to construct this dam on kaveri river but tamil nadu government is opposing this because of you know it's it's a downstream uh, state and it has its concerns regarding flow of water downstream then below you have kerala eyes and archival treasured rock so tamil nadu archives has in its possession valuable records of dutch rule in kerala so the kerala state archives department wants to lay its hands on this project trav of akavel records because it could shed light on lesser known facets of dutch rule in kerala the slave trade that once flourished in the region too on page 9 you have tamil nadu villagers oppose move to set up facility for nuclear spent fuel so this is uh, kudankulam in tamil nadu where russia is establishing its nuclear plants and this proposal to set up a facility for nuclear spent fuel here this is been protested against so tamil nadu villagers here are protesting on the editorial page the first editorial is boost for marathas so this is regarding the bombay high court verdict in favor of quota for marathas but then this editorial says that this verdict needs examination and this second editorial is primary colors so the democratic party is struggling to provide an alternative to xenophobic populism in usa so the republican party of president donald trump is going into populism xenophobic populism in the sense they are bringing in scare of one section of the community here he brings up the issue of migrants etc so this is uh, you know uh, democratic party's challenge it has to provide an alternative to this so there are presidential elections which are going to take place in 2020 in usa so this editorial is in that context the lead article even central banks need capital infusion infusion so this is regarding how rbi must function independently and not be a slave to outdated ideas so because government wants more transfer of more Um, amount from RBI to the government, but R- RBI wants to have its reserves. So this is the point on which the editorial, on which this article speaks, in the context that the government infuses capital in public sector banks. So same way it says central bank also needs capital infusion. Then next is. things to do to avoid another water crisis so this is regarding chennai water crisis it has become a major issue rather it has been in news internationally too after leonardo di caprio tweet also came in news so the chennai water problem it says must not must result not in fire fighting strategies but in systematized solutions to prevent it rather than to fight when the water scarcity comes up so this is the article talking of what steps need to be taken then on saturdays on the opet page you have this ground zero coverage so today it is regarding an investment fraud so it says when the bengaluru based ima group of companies wound up its operations it has left not only thousands of investors in the lurch but also raised questions on political patronage to ponzi schemes that have been run in the name of islamic banking so this is a question being you know sought to be answered here then on page 12 you have 2.51 lakh more houses to be built in 10 states so this is regarding pradhan mantri awas yojana urban so construction of 2.51 lakh more houses in 10 states under the scheme has been sanctioned so the process would begin here so this is important you should know about pradhan mantri awas yojana both the urban and rural component then on page 13 you have uh, you know pm how he was at the informal brics leaders meeting on the sidelines of g20 summit where he declared that terrorism is the biggest threat to humanity so brics stands for brazil russia india china and south africa so this is a uh, this is a multilateral grouping 
and here you have on 5g and data storage india aligns with developing nations so india distances itself from initiatives promoted by us and japan and works along with you know and supports developing countries stays with developing countries on the issue and data storage also the data localization issue is there, which is there and 5g roll out of 5g too. the 5g network will be rolled out now So 5G issues, of course, that uh, USA wants Chinese telecom giant Huawei to be banned by countries, but then uh, India's stand is that it will look into national interests and decide. Then this is center releases action plan on higher education. So center has released a five-year vision and action plan to transform high, transfer higher education by doubling enrollment and employability. So this will address inequalities of access, revamp governance and funding mechanisms. Then on international page you have this coverage on the G20 summit which took place. And here you have France roasts in record heat wave. So France registered its highest temperature since records began. So there is this heat wave which is suffocating a huge amount of region in Europe and the, the temperatures have reached 45.9 degrees Celsius in southern France in this region. So the such heat waves are being recorded. Earlier record was of 44.1 degrees Celsius in 2003. The World Meteorological Organization has said that 2019 was on track to be among the world's hottest years. And we have here Sri Sena justifies death penalty decision. So, Sri Lankan government has decided to hang drugs offense, drug offense convicts and it is termed as necessary to protect the country and future generations and the US uh, and Sri Lankan president uh, Matripala Sri Sena, he justifies this death penalty decision. Then Pakistan army chief blames fiscal mismanagement for problems. So, Pakistan is facing a fiscal uh, concern, fiscal crisis and the army chief says that it is fiscal mismanagement which is responsible for the country's economic woes. So he's recently been appointed you know, to a newly formed committee responsible for steering the economy. Then on business page you have current account deficit tapers. So fourth quarter trade deficit uh, has been low and forex reserves have hit all time high. And then you have fiscal deficit as 52% of full year target. So government fiscal deficit touched 52% of budget estimates for the full year in the first two months itself of the financial year 2019-20. Then this is telecom sector under stress admits Prasad spells out revival plan. So this is telecom minister Ravi Shankar Prasad who has acknowledged that there is stress in the telecom sector and a panel will be asked to revisit Spectrum usage charges. So, a committee has been formed for this purpose. And this is RBI allows ARCs to buy financial assets from peers. So, these are asset reconstruction companies. So, the RBI has allowed them to buy financial assets. So, transactions however will be settled in cash. Then, this is Trade war makes India a heaven for aluminium scrap dumping. So country overtakes China in imports and uh, the trend is hurting the industry. So scrapped uh, aluminium has been taken into the country. Then on page 16 you have Google appears to have misused dominance. So this is regarding the Competition Commission of India which has uh, prepared a 14 page order uh, which has found Google's restrictions on manufacturers been uh, misusing its dominant position. So it reduced the ability of device manufacturers, mobile phone device manufacturers to opt for alternative versions of its Android mobile operating system. So such actions, Google's restrictions on manufacturers seem to have amounted to imposition of unfair trade conditions. So this is similar to what Google faced in Europe also where regulations imposed $5 billion fine on Google. So in India also similar concerns are being raised. Then on the last page you have NASA to send a drone to Saturn's largest moon. So Saturn's largest moon is Titan. So this Dragonfly mission is uh, going to be sent by NASA to Titan 
and there it will look for evidence of life. So, mission is scheduled to be launched in 2026 and the landing on Titan will take place in 2034. Then this is Twitter to label political tweets that violate rules. So, this will ensure that tweet is not elevated. So, political tweets will be marked so. And then you have below US city pays ransom of four lakh sixty thousand dollars. The phones in the city Lake City, Florida in USA went down. You know? So what happened is hackers launched a cyber attack and disabled the city's computer systems on June 10. So this happened when an employee clicked on a malicious email and the entire city's computers were infected and a ransomware installed and ransom was demanded. So for several days the computer systems were paralyzed as such. But in the end the city leaders reluctantly approved to pay the hackers the amount. So 42 bitcoins or 4 lakh 60 thousand dollars. So once this payment has been done then US computers have started functioning again. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asr.com. Thank you.